Hey everybody, good morning. Jerry Bellini here. Tuesdays with Jerry. It's time for that. And I am just getting ready to do some serious packing this morning. It's Sunday. We just got home from church and I decided to pack up my art room. So I don't know how that's going to go over, but um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to stop at the end of this video, I'm going to stop and I'm going to show you the mess in here. It's 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 horrible. I wish I wish you all lived real close to me and you could come over and give me some moral support, even if you just sit in the chair and encourage me, because uh, it gets a little depressing. So I'm having a cup of coffee. Yes, I know I said I gave it up, but you know when times are tough, this helps. So I'm going to take a sip because it's hot. Mm. when it's hot it's so good right anyway all right so why um uh, bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> i can't even talk let me tell you that i can't think straight i don't know i my brain i can't find my words i can't remember anything i think i'm just too full and um yeah i'm gonna have to just have a little acceptance for that because it's going to stay like this for a little while I think and it is what it is so I thought I would come on and I could do a little show and share and tell with some of the things that I've been uh, doing this past week so I've been packing and unpacking and finding all sorts of lovely items and I can't show them to you because they are now at the little house, but maybe I'll insert a picture in here. I found this amazing box. Uh, I'm packing in file folder size boxes, so they're very manageable to move. And I found in a, that size, so I just wanted to give you a, a thought of the size of the box. I found a box that was full of vintage, probably from the 20s to the 40s, fabric. and bits and pieces like little scraps and what it was my husband brought it home uh, from an auction for me and I never looked in it I don't know how did that happen and it was a woman's projects and, she, and the cardboard templates were in there too and I felt so connected to her when I was going through her piece you know her things her little pieces of fabric and so what she did is she cut out with this cardboard, she cut out these little uh, sh uh, squares and triangles, not triangles, rectangles, and then she pieced together these blocks that I've never seen so many different scrap fabrics from that time all in one place that wasn't like an entire quilt. And I, I tell you, it was very touching. So... I want to do something special with them and I might I might put some of them in the Etsy shop because there's quite a bit of them but I will keep I will keep uh, some and put them in my altered books they were just beautiful so I found that I also uh, came across which I knew I had I just had forgotten about it a huge Rubbermaid tub of my works in progress for my quilting day so we're talking about sewing and quilting because that's what I'm currently doing. I'm moving my sewing room. So you're going to hear a lot about that for a while if you're not interested. Fast forward. <laughs> so anyway, I found uh, a box of um, Dear Jane. If anybody has ever done, if you, if you were a quilter or if you are a quilter, Dear Jane, it was a book that has all these old-fashioned uh, scrap and um, pieced, is what I meant to say, pieced and applique blocks. And they're very tiny. They're miniatures. They're about five or six inches square. And many, many years ago when I belonged to a quilt guild and I had a group of friends, we all sewed and quilted, we decided we would make one. And so we, we shared our fabrics. And so we got a nice variety. Well, I found this box of these little quilt blocks. Oh my gosh, they are adorable. And, 
and I've got to do something with them. And if you follow me on Instagram, I posted some photographs on my Instagram feed. Oh, and if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a little, I made a little video when I found the box with the woman's blocks and scraps in it. I made a little video of it. Oh my gosh, I completed hey, that. Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art, and we are in my closet at the little house. This is my textile area, and I have all kinds of upholstery fabrics and whatnot. But the reason I'm on here right now is because I found this box full of textiles that were from the 30s and it looks like it was uh, somebody's project S projects so there's a whole bunch of things and here's the cardboards that she used to cut out these pieces and here are the blocks that she made and oh my gosh these are real vintage fabrics i have never seen this many in one place all in one place and there's um scraps over here Sorry, I hope I don't make you nauseous. A pile of scraps, and it's just amazing. And uh, for some reason, I've never gone through this box before, so I'm really excited. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. So anyway, so I found Dear Jane, the book, and all the blocks. I found an applique quilt that I had started that I made bias uh, binding tape. I made my own bias, and I made a tree. So it comes up and it goes out like that. And then I used uh, feed sacks. And if you don't, don't know what they are, uh, that's, I think they were from the 20s and 30s as well. Um, they used to sell um, flour and sugar and whatnot um, in these sacks. And they were, um, you know, prints. Like they could be florals or geometric shapes or whatever. And the women would buy the flour in that particular sack and then they would make clothing or quilts or whatever. So I have, I've collected feed sacks. I love feed sacks. So I cut out probably a bajillion of these leaf shapes and I was sewing them down. It's like a tree of life, I think. Really, really pretty. I think I might finish that. I love to applique. So I found a bunch of other things too. I won't bore you with all of them, but I, it was exciting. <laughs> it was really good stuff. So on the mixed media home front, I haven't been doing much art, but I will tell you that yesterday I was able to sit down and spend a few hours making these cute little thank you tags that I make for my um, Etsy. Oops, one just fell on the floor. <laughs> my Etsy store. And they're just cute little quickie projects. I love this one. Cute little quickie projects that instant gratification made me feel good. And I also make them on tags, which, you know, you guys have probably seen them ad nauseum. But um, heart, hearts are very special to me. So you'll see, I put a heart on. I put a heart on all my work, um, and there's a whole story that goes with that, but I won't get into it. But I have a heart tattooed on my over here too. I love hearts. My little signature thing, I guess. So uh, you'll find them someplace on all my work. There's a heart. So that's why I put them on my thank you tags, and I found this great um, stamp that I like to use, grown with love. So I used that on my tags too. So I did that last night and it felt really, really good. I wanted to show you. Uh, where, oh, here it is. So I never win anything, okay? <laughs> and I won um, this, this girl on the internet that I've become friends with. Probably not going to say her name right. Aristi. A-R-I-S-T-I. -I. Um, she has a Facebook group. Artistic Aristi or Aristi Artistic, I <laughs> can't remember. Sorry, Aristi. Anyway, um, in her Facebook group, she reached like I think 500 subscribers or something, and she did um, a giveaway, and I won it. And she lives in Greece, so it came from Greece. And this is Greek paper. Oh, yeah. And look at this beautiful journal that she made. Isn't it sweet? And it has. 
I'm guessing that's Greek. I have no idea with the writing on it. But isn't it beautiful? And there's lace. She put lace binding on the side. And the inside is just so pretty. Look how pretty. She put my name on it, too. Isn't that nice? And the inside has all these pretty pages. Isn't it beautiful? It's very special to me. Yeah. I just love it. I don't, I don't get a whole lot of things like this. Um, I don't usually participate in uh, giveaways, but I just, I really like this. So if you're watching Aristi, thank you so much. I love it, and the paper is so pretty. And she sewed on some of the pages. It's just really beautiful. So thank you so much for that. And I got a little happy mail, too, from Miradel Abrams. So she made a little pocket. I don't usually get happy mail, so... I don't do Happy Mail videos either. I just happen to be telling you about these things. Um, she made me a little pocket, and Miradel has been enjoying making stamps. She's been doing a lot of stamp carving. So this is her... Um, yeah, the word went right out of my head. This is her mascot in her art room. <laughs> and look, she did a stamp on her scissors, and I am so happy to have received these. I have this little um, journal that I made and it is, well, it's a work in progress as is everything in, in my life lately, but it is a magazine, an altered magazine. And what I did is I glued two pages together. And I'll show it to you sometime. I glued two pages together and anybody who I have a little relationship with on the internet, if they send me, if they have ever sent me any happy mail or anything, I make a page on it, and I generally will post, um, post, glue uh, a picture of them on there and a piece of their their work that they sent me. So I'm going to make a page for Miradell now, and I have a couple pages in this journal with different people that I have met and um, have a relationship with. It's really it's really nice to look through it. So let me see, what else? All right, so I told you about the tags. Oh, somebody, excuse my back. I'm sorry, I should have looked to see what your name was before I did this, but I, I didn't. But I was showing my little patch last week, um, uh, stitch meditation, I think I said. And so you left me a message and said, oh, you know, Jerry, you should check out this book, um, Slow Stitching, Slow Stitch. Well, I have, to <laughs> I have to tell you, I already had it in my shopping cart on Amazon. I just didn't pull the trigger because I had never heard of the book before, but I've been researching um, mindful stitching, uh, slow stitching, stitch meditation. I'm not finding a lot of stuff about it. So if anybody knows anything more about it, I'd be very interested. And forgive that noise. My phone's making noises. Um... Anyway, she recommended this book, and when she recommended it, I said, all right, well, there's somebody else out there that, that thinks it's awesome. So I thought it looked like really great. First of all, it's, it feels like fabric. It feels like velvety. It's, it's very tactile. <laughs> it feels great. But it is so interesting. So the photographs inside are, are really, ugh, they're just, I just, I love them. They're very, uh, what word am I looking for, Jerry? They're very tactile looking. They, you just want to, you just want to grab the thing and make, you want to make something. Oh, I don't know how a sweater got in there. That's interesting. Anyway, the reading is very interesting. So in the beginning of the book, and I generally look at pictures, I don't really read the books, but the I decided to read this one. So the beginning of the book is talking about the slow movement. So the book was written in 2015, so it's fairly new and is talking about the internet and how with uh, the internet and cell phones that we're too accessible, okay, all the time. Because you heard my phone making noises, right? So I'm going to turn it off. And I turn my phone off a lot. And I close my computer a lot. Because it kind of like, it's too much, you know, sometimes. I love the internet and what it can do for me and how it brings you into my home. I love that part of it, but 
you know, if you spend too much time on Facebook or on social media, it's all very overstimulating. So they're talking about in this book this slow movement that they um, that started back in the 80s, which I hadn't really heard about it. But pockets of um, the United States was uh, actually they were having like towns that were moving over to the slow movement. And so living a little bit more slowly, and I don't mean to say, like, there's a all living off the grid, that's a whole nother thing. So maybe not that drastic, but what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that these people that were involved in the slow movement in many different areas of your life, they decided to be more mindful about their time and ultimately to have balance in their life. So not to say that the internet is bad, just to have balance. I love the internet. There's no way. I'm never giving it up. <laughs> My husband and I just had this big long discussion about it. He says, you're on the computer all the time. I am on the computer a lot because that's what I do for a living. I have an Etsy shop. I, you know, so I am on the computer, but I'm not interacting with people all the time. I do spend a couple hours a day checking in on my friends, talking to people. I have made wonderful relationships. I have made wonderful friends. I am so thankful for them. Uh, sometimes we'll even chat. We'll do the FaceTime or whatever. It's wonderful. It's been a blessing in my life because I don't have any friends locally and I miss that. So um, I'm digressing here. But I want to get back to the book. So it was talking about mindfulness and taking the time. This is the big thing that I wanted to say. Taking the time to reflect on your life, to, to reflect on things. Taking the time to sit down and think about something. So I happened to be over at the little house the other day. And I laid down on the floor. And I was looking around at the room, and I was reflecting. I was thinking about my art room and how I was going to set it up. And I was picturing myself working on altered books in this corner and maybe doing some soldering in that corner. And I was just, like, reflecting. I was thinking about it. I don't know about you, but I, with this busy, everything is rushed, get it done, whatever, I don't spend a whole lot of time reflecting. And I told my husband, when we move into our new home, I really do want a little bit more of the simple life. I want things to be simple. I don't want a lot of clutter. I don't want a lot of crap. Now my art room's a different story. <laughs> That's a whole different ball game. But you, you get what I'm saying. And so um, this move has really been interesting for me. And it is a time of reflection. So P.S. This book, I love it. If anybody is interested in hand stitching or mindfulness, uh, doing anything mindfully, thoughtfully, even when you're doing, like when I was doing my cards, uh, you know, I'm sitting down, I'm thinking about the paper, I'm feeling the paper, I'm gluing it down, I'm thinking about the pen. It was, it's very interesting to work like that instead of being in a hurry. Slow Stitch, and the author's name is Claire Wellesley Smith. I highly recommend it. All right, I'll put that down. So I know you would love to see the crap all over my floor, and I think I might disconnect the thing from the boom and show it to you just for a giggle. But before <laughs> before I do, let me see. I told you about Dear Jane. Um, I guess that's about it. Uh, I'm going to show you my mess just because I love you and I want you to feel sorry for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, I don't want you to feel sorry for me. I'm only kidding. But I want you to feel my pain or something. I have to take a sip of this coffee while it's hot because coffee is the best when it's hot. All right, I have a busy day. I have to pack up this art room because I promised myself I would do that. And I have to make another video. I have to make my shop update video. And that's about it, I guess. So let's see. I don't know. I put a timer on and it, it left me. <laughs> so, all right, guys. I hope everybody has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I will see you again next week. And hopefully I won't be talking about 
just my move because that gets a little boring after a while. So I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, here it is. I'm sorting. I'm sorting through all this stuff. Look. Oh, my gosh. Look over here. So I'm taking um, sections of my room, and I'm just sorting and deciding what I'm keeping. And these are these uh, plastic towers that I had upstairs in my sewing room, and I'm going through all of the drawers and yeah and here's my thread and I'm trying to decide how to store my thread in the new house and I really don't want to use this plastic storage thing anymore I don't know I can't make up my mind and wait there's more hold on there's another pile here's some stuff stacked <laughs> look Here's all this stuff is stacked. There's some embroidery floss. There's, uh, yeah, what do you think? Uh, that's a pile of uh, altered books. And there's my open sign from when I had my bead store. I cannot get rid of that. So you see what I'm dealing with? All these boxes of crap, and I'm trying to sort through them and not just toss them in a box and move them.